right. First of all, I, I, I can't stay quiet with this. Because if you look at my films, and they're good, I don't know why they don't do this. I have to like look into it, but they leave out a big word called if you're American or want to study in America, you've got to know what that word means. Molarity is a concentration. It's exactly what they're doing. And it's mole per liter. Moles per one liter of solution is called molarity. If you're an American and you want to study in America, I don't care what the IB says. You've got to know that. And the IB is doing it. That's what that is. The IP will say this is 0.1 mole decimeter to the negative 3, but that's exactly what that is. And one decimeter is one liter. So that's really molarity. That's what molarity is. Okay? Yes? So a way, there's two major ways, there's several ways of, of expressing concentration. One of the most common way with acids and bases is called molarity, okay? And that's what the IB uses, but they don't call it molarity. Now, the way they abbreviate this is simply capital M. So it'd be 0.1 M. So if you look at some of my films on acids and bases and solutions and solution problems, it's exactly the same process, exactly the same. Exactly. Okay? Now, if I have 100 cubic centimeters at that molarity, at that concentration, I need to know how many moles I want to put in there, correct? How many moles are going to be in there when I prepare it, correct? Yes? Now, a powder, a pow putting a powder in a liquid, really doesn't change a liquid's volume. If you put a, a, if you put a solute, a, a solid solute, into a liquid solvent, let's say I fill it to the 100 milliliter ma, uh, line, 100 cubic centimeter line, and I put in 10 grams of a solid, it's really not going to change because it, it goes in between the molecules because it's homogeneous. It, it, distributes and it's out of sight and kind of fills in the empty spaces. So you're not going to see a major change in volume. But this is what they do. I'm going to explain what they do. Okay? What they do is they first have to say, well, if I know there are 0.1 moles per one liter, is it okay if I say one liter instead of cubic decimeter? Is that okay? Okay. Then will you please calculate for me if there's if there's 1.1 mole per liter, right, how many per 100 cubic centimeter? But you, you see that I have liters and cubic centimeters here? You see that? Yes or no? So what you want to do is you want to either change this to milliliters. What I like to do is I like to do this, 0.1 liters, right? So 0.1 times 0.1 divided by 1 is what? 0 0.1, <laughs> 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 divided by 1 is what? 0 0.01. 0 0.01 moles of what? What's the chemical? What's, read the problem out loud. Lauren, um, Lauren, read the problem out loud. That one, right there, you got your finger on it. Um, solution of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, so NaCl. So 100 cubic centimeters, they want to describe how to make. They want to describe, thank you, Porcy. They want to describe how to make 100 cubic centimeters of a 0.1 molar per cubic decimeter solution of sodium chloride. 
All right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a, a volumetric flask. And there's a little line here. I'm going to put in 0.1 moles of sodium chloride. How many grams is 0 0.1, 0 0.01 moles of sodium chloride? Well, I know that one mole, remember, everything is proportions, everything, everything, is going to be 58, right? Right? NaCl, 23 plus 35. I know we're rounding to 35 mass numbers, but I don't care, okay? So, what's that going to be? Divided by one. How many grams is that? 0. 0.58. 0. 0.58, right? Move it over two places. One, two. One, two. 0. 0.58, right? So point. I'm going to take. I'm going to take 0. 0.58 grams of sodium chloride, and I'm going to put it in here, right? And then what do I do? And then what do I do? And then I fill it with water up to here. Right? So I take 0.58 grams of sodium chloride, I put it into a volumetric flask, and I fill the volumetric flask up to the line. There's only one line on a volumetric flask. And that line is the volume that's printed right here. Okay? Yes? You get it? Okay. How did I get that? Well, I know that I have, I have 0.1, this is the concentration that it has to be, 0.1 moles per liter. That has to be the same concentration, even though I have only 100 milliliters of it. So I say, okay, fair enough, 0.1 times 0.1 divided by 1 is going to be, is going to be 0.01, and then 0.01 moles where I know one mole is 58 grams, is going to be 0.58. I put 0.58 grams in here, fill it up to the line, snap. Got it? We're off. So what was the problem again? Read the problem out loud, Lauren, the whole thing. Explain how you would prepare 100... Explain how you would prepare 100 cubic centimeters... Of a... Zero of a zero... Of a... 0.1... 0 0.1 mole per cubic decimeter solution of sodium chloride. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Well done.